have this in front of you. Did Matt hand you the... Um, we have a series of tweets. The Cernovich dossier? Uh, the Cernovich dossier, which was put together by uh, co-super producer David Slavik. Um, and basically, I don't know, basically, uh, Sam, we're just going to go back and forth. Uh, on Cernovich impressions. I, I might be pretty well prepared. I spent... Uh, now, did you meet your girlfriend through following uh, the methods of his dating advice? Or? <laughs> sh- 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 no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they would have worked on her, to be honest. Yeah, okay. I um, was actually... Yeah. I was watching... She's... Some, yes, go some, ahead. Uh, we did a show here in New York City last night, and I had to, for a segment, we had Mike Cernovich call into the show. So I had to listen to hours of Mike Cernovich in his Gorilla Mindset seminar just to pull enough relevant things to create like a long... Oh, so instead of an impression, you actually did yeah, like a clip Yeah, I actually just cut oh, words dude. out. <laughs> That's a lot of commitment to the craft. Um, uh, we, I would prefer we, to look at a couple of tweets and do a lisp for As, as you'll yeah. see soon, I don't quite have the skills as you have on the Cernovich impression. I think but your Cernovich is... Ve- okay, this is another reason why everybody should also subscribe to District Sentinel. The guy, and also you co-hosted it with Sam Knight, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight. But they did a story. I don't even remember. I think it was Mike Cernovich, who everybody should know. Again, let me do like one of these addendums for people who have had the fortune of not knowing who he is, and let me apologize for exposing him to you. <laughs> Mike Cernovich is a guy who's sort of like equal parts Tony Robbins knockoff, um, be, uh, alt-right racist. Alex Jones, and then actually hysterically, and the best part of his bio is that basically, I think, maybe at this, a settlement he got from his ex-wife, who is a successful lawyer, is a major reason he's able to operate the way he <laughs> operates, which I just, that is a factoid I fucking love. It's delicious. Right? It's just, I did it not know that, actually. Could not be any better. Yeah, that is quite like the base of his initial, his seed funding for being a, a, a moron on Twitter. Uh, so basically, uh, that's Mike Cernovich, and uh, he is a supporter of the Gorilla Mindset, and he is, uh, uh, was the guy who helped spread the Pizzagate conspiracy theory. And now in the Trump age, I mean, there's a lot of people that a couple of years ago we might have said, like, eh, whatever, that guy's a fucking idiot, whatever. Now these people are, like, at the center of... You know, at least media in the Trump age. You've got you've got Cernovich and Eli Lake fighting each other, uh, other over who's got the scoops in the Trump administration right now. <laughs> exactly, and Eli Lake's like, I did all the right things, but, and I I supported Israel and melting Palestinians, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I have to compete with it. Actually, is that a good dating book? That's my <laughs> just Eli a, Lake just a point of order. Cernovich yes. swore off his dating advice when I was watching really this seminar. He said that he's no longer in the pickup game because he doesn't like the sort of people it attracted <laughs> to his brand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you poor sons of bitches. That's like everybody to his brand. Yeah, can you imagine? He just insulted people who were watching yeah. him in real time. <laughs> can you imagine being one of the hopeless, marginalized losers that follows uh, pickup artist advices and then the guy t- says yeah. like, and the guy's like actually I would prefer to not cater to you hopeless marginalized <laughs> losers you, you, you let me up? tell you about Gorilla Mindset yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there it is so they did a story where they said that uh, and do we want to yeah just play a second of Mike Cernovich's actual voice and we'll give us a metric here and how well we're doing this impression but anyways Sam and Sam both did amazing Cernovich impressions and I was on a subway like I was in a subway hangover ride, which is very difficult. And I was sort of like drinking a bottle of water and I was just like, ugh. And then I heard them and they went, Thernovich, a bellwether. (laughs) And I started laughing so hard, but I got pissed because my head was throbbing. What what was the Cernovich bellwether again? That he was like, what was it about? That he wasn't going to, no, it was about Trump. Trump He wasn't selling enough Trump books. Right. Uh, Yeah. And so he's like, I need to pivot away from Trump so much. So he's like, I'm going to be a journalist first and (laughs) foremost, not a Trump supporter. One of the clips I found last night was him calling into the Alex Jones show. And uh, Alex Jones is like, oh, you're you're late calling in. And Cernovich is like, I'm sorry I'm late, but I have breaking news. The Trump administration is done. (laughs) <laughs> this was like just the other day and he's talking about how all these employees in the administration are on these 140 day contracts that are now expiring and the Republican establishment is purging them and taking over the Trump administration and that we can just declare the whole thing dead. Done. All right. So this is we're going to read a few of his tweets 
And then, but first, let's just get a taste of the actual Mikey C. Yeah, and I, see how we're doing. Here. I saw this clip this morning. Yes, and uh, I actually think that the, his his point about the tiki torches is actually I think pretty well made here. But this is to get a sense of his voice. Okay. Yeah, let's hear his point about tiki torches. <laughs> young man and young men know everything. Nobody knows more than a young man. Man under twenty five. That guy knows it all. But I don't know anything, correct? So that was a honeypot. Those torches, why do they want you carrying torches? Wait, I'm sorry. Pause it. So they can... I thought honeypot was always sex. What does a tiki torch have to do with the honey? I mean, I think generally it's I'm sex. S- but I'm sorry concept, to quibble here. Yeah, I apologize. You're, you're, being a bit, very you're being a bit pedantic for certain of it. Bit okay. pedantic. <laughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Go right ahead. See your face and take your picture. Camera, 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 picture, 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 picture everywhere. So you're going to walk there at night in a march and illuminate your face at an event so that the feds can have a file on every one of you. That's actually not the worst point he's ever made. I didn't even think yeah. about that, but yeah. that's that's what those tiki torches function to do is to light up their faces. It's like anti cointel training for like khakis <laughs> racists. Uh, all right, uh, uh, Sam, start first, please. Where where are we starting? I think there? we're on marriage. Is the first page? Okay. Do you have that? Am I just am I reading the first one? Yeah, here? just read the first one. I'll read the second. We'll just trade off a few. <laughs> All right. We're just having a little sandwich right. off. Uh, I could sell more writing some boobies and bacon. Man show bullshit, but this ain't me. Others can have that niche. <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking about. This is out of context here. It seems. That's fine. It doesn't need to be in context. Get into the gorilla mindset. Stop being pedantic. <laughs> I despise that man show shit. Always hated it. Watching sports, drinking beer, and boobs. Not what it means to be a man. You hear that, Luke? That was the character of masculinity, which is why the media produced it safe. No mention of force or will, strength, honor. Show is a joke. Oh, I get it now. He is talking about the man show with. Uh, I would have thought he'd have been into the man show. I don't understand. He's counter, that. dude. He is on a rebrand. Emotional control, <laughs> self possession, self reliance, forces of will. Media would never our actual man show. <laughs> Boobs and bacon shows only. He's probably now into like not jerking off and like preserving your like <laughs> male essence. All right, read the last one. Oh, he is. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, read the last one. Society will let you do CrossFit, grow a beard, but that's it. <laughs> Any other expression of masculinity will get you fired, of course. <laughs> All right, we got to do a few more of these. You know what this reminds me yes. of before we get to that? Yes, is, please. Like, you read about the sort of the turn of this last century and Teddy Roosevelt and like the, the sort of obsession with masculinity and like oh, yeah. frontier stuff. This oh, yeah. is a really weird iteration of that where it's like internet based and. It's yeah. like it's like it's like Teddy Roosevelt masculinity for men that cannot walk a block. <laughs> sort of like we need to get back to the time where we hiked mountains and killed bears. Where's my inhaler? In DC, there's a Roosevelt Island where he used to retreat to, and there's a like a statues on there of all these men and Roosevelt quotes about <laughs> manhood and what it means to be a man. Oh, well, we should get those and read them in the Cernovich voice the next time we do a show together. <laughs> Marriage and monogamy are not natural. It's better for people to not realize it. Stay virgin. Marry first partner. Oh, it's getting deep now. Uh, this is uh, Mike Cernovich responding to a Cassandra Fairbanks tweet here, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. It's like it, the worst people on the planet. Uh, <laughs> Anthony Weiner is in a sexless marriage. Obvious sign of that. He'll be much better off now. <laughs> Tolerance from the left requires you to debase and defile yourself. Scat and pedophilia receive more tolerance than traditional marriage. Which reminds me, there is a new segment on the Michael Brooks show, which I'm debuting, called... Matt Scat. Matt Scat, where we say that (laughs) whatever the fuck it was that Matt just said deserves more respect than traditional marriage. Disgusting. All right, let's do two more. I think you're going to need to do... This is getting back, because I think what David has done is he's designed a uh, timeline here, because now Cernovich, in his own warped way, is clearly on a rebrand. And Cerno- and uh, David is reminding us of how disgusting uh, Cernovich is. Do you have the Trayvon Martin one in front of you? I do. Why don't you read that one? This one is awful. Oh. <laughs> Even in a Cernovich voice, Way to awful. have solidarity, dude. <laughs> All right. 
Wow. By the way, lesson in not manhood right there. <laughs> Today, we have a moment of silence for Trayvon Martin's rape victims. Kidding! He got to go before he was able to rape anyone. This is who's... This is, and by the way, this contextualizes Anoa. Those fucking morons that Anoa was talking about wanted to have an alliance with this guy. But um, this was this was Cernovich when he was giving pickup advice. What, yeah. though, you know. This is when I was giving pickup advice. <laughs> completely different. During phase. the primary. All right. And I'm just going to read on being alpha. No one thinks alpha when they think of alt-right. They think of math scary men. Antifa arouses strange unconscious desires. <laughs> that was okay. a recent what is he one. Yeah. What's his that was a recent there? one. I don't know. I guess this is just th that they should be in masks. I have no idea. Is he saying Antifa is alpha? He's saying that people think of it when they think of Alpha because they're in masks. Oh, well. What, what desires is Antifa? I mean, strange desires to punch a Nazi? Is that the desire the that... strange, bizarre desire to punch a Nazi. Where could that come from? <laughs> Not everyone's worldview was formed by having troubles with speaking and getting a settlement from their first wife. So it's hard for me to expand my moral horizon. Look, um, after that's bleeding into the Peter Thiel. Impression. After spending after yeah. spending hours watching this guy yesterday, I will say he seems to have it figured out. He mentioned how when he gets angry or mad, he rubs his right leg and it mm. goes away. Mm. And this is something he learned by using gorilla mindset, not just in a defensive manner, but also offensively. Uh, Mike, <laughs> rub your right thigh while you watch this. <laughs> And send this to Mike and tell him to rub his right thigh. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.